everybody, this is Deadpool, and we're going to be reviewing a figure of me, Deadpool. As you can see, oh, okay, I'm, I'm just going to stop right there. Obviously, I'm not Deadpool. I don't know how that, how that went, but hey, that was my best impersonation of Deadpool. But anyways, we're looking at from the X-Men Origins um, toy line in Deadpool. This is the comic series, not the movie series. The comic series, get that right. This is not, it's like, no, no one going, hey, he's going to be this guy in the movie. No, it's the comic series. And as you can see in the box, you know, you got Wolverine or Hugh Jackman. Whatever, a little claw thing slicing. You can see a little indents in here. Oh, I bent it. And yeah, uh, pretty. Not that big. Not that particularly cool looking. Awesome packaging, but not. And uh, over, as you can see, I right cut the tape off so it could be easy to access it. And you can see Deadpool here in the mighty Photoshop picture. And you pretty much have his little bio here can't really read it but anyways and including in this series we have old school Wolverine with the brown and yellow we have movie Sabretooth I believe it's movie Sabretooth Could be, uh, I'm not sure. I think it is yeah whatever and we have movie Wolverine okay okay so packaging you can see him in all his glory Deadpool so let's just unleash Deadpool <laughs> Okay, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Now we got me, Deadpool, out of package. Okay, I'm I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. I like Deadpool a lot. I like to pretend. I like to do his voice. But here we have him, and just look at him by himself. He looks really, really cool. I mean, costume looks fantastically cool. You got his signature belt buckle. All right, we got basically okay. They. What I like is they did the little mask thing that little has a little extra piece of cloth just hanging out. It's, just, it's not a tight head mask. It's got some looseness. Got some nice, very nice. Very, it's very nicely detailed in my opinion. Though this I wish was a little more detailed, but I can look past that. Okay, and now for the big negative. It's a big, big negative, and it's this one in particular which I hate so much look look at that look how loose that ball joint is i mean look at that that's insane and look you think that's worse oh it's also loose over here not as bad but it's still loose no and i have no idea how to fix that deadpool why you even fuck up your toy I'm sorry, man. I can't help it. Hasbro sucks. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I know, but... God damn it. Anyways. Okay. So, be besides that, articulation-wise, his head can go 360, you know, up. It has a little up, little down motion, which is pretty nifty. Um, arms can go in and out, in and out, rotate all the way around, bend at the elbow, Twist at the elbow. Twist at the wrist. The body can actually go forward. You know, it can actually move around by the bicep or whatever. Right there. Pretty nice. Uh, the ball joint. Go all the way around. And this is that ball joint from the... Similar to the Iron Man toys. You actually have to move it separate from the hip. I mean, the thigh to actually get some more articulation movement. So you, it can go forward and back, go up and down, and it, as you can see, the, this can rotate. It's got a double, a double hinge knee. Um, doesn't have. I don't think it has. It has a very small little swivel on his foot, and it can also turn. So. He has great articulation. He's very poseable. It's just his freaking ball joint. But anyways, okay, the the to the I was gonna say toys. Well, he calls them toys. I'm pretty sure he calls them toys because he's Deadpool. Yes, I am. But anyways, okay, we got here two katanas, and they fit in the sheath. And this one is really tight to put in. This one you could just slide. 
It's a little warped, but if you keep it in the sheath, it actually straightens it out, which is pretty nice. He comes with his little pistol, which is really cool. You can hold it in his hand, like so. Bang, bang. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And you can also put it right here in his holster. Just like if... There we go. All right. He comes with this overly sized scythe, or scythe, not scythe, scythe, which is really huge. I'm wondering where he got this scythe. Well, see, I ran into Raphael from Ninja Turtles, and he, like, made fun of my costume. So I kind of, like, had to break his neck and steal his weapon. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. He's a turtle. Yeah, whatever. But anyways, okay, so there's really nowhere to put, I can actually put it, like, since it's very loose here, which is pretty nice, you could actually fit weapons in his belt, I'll just place it in there, I mean, it's not the best looking thing, but yeah, I could, if I want to mess around with it, I will put it in a nice spot, but right there is fine, actually that looks just terrible, okay, so I'll just place it in his other hand. And then we have this um, automatic machine gun. I'm, I'm, I'm not good with guns. I don't know it's automatic. So just place it in here. And it's, and it's also a bit oversized, I think, a bit, kind of. So very much have it. So he's ready to kick some ass. I'm ready to kick some ass. See? He's ready to kick some ass. But, so, okay. I'm get him in a pose. If I can get him in a good pose. Without his ball joints, and you know, actually, I may complain about the ball joints, but when I get him in certain, when I get him in the poses I like, like his crouching kind of thing from one side to the other, it does tend to, you know, go with me and not freaking be a pain in the ass and constantly fall. But sometimes he does that looseness does hinder his uh his articulate um his po his um stability. So there we go. Alright, so, oh, there you go. So, here's Deadpool. Deadpool, he's an actually good figure. I do recommend getting him this line of the three and three quarter inch figures. Uh, I think they're actually really good, especially Deadpool. I do plan on getting another one so it can have a good ball jointed area. But, I suggest getting him. Just be wary with the ball joint area thing. So, this is Deadpool. Yes, I'm Deadpool. And I'm Jay Asante, and I'll talk to you guys later.